Hello and welcome back to my channel, Dr. Magnesium with me, Dr. Lee Keegan. And it's been a while since I've last posted a video, I can only apologise for that. I've been really busy over the last few months. I moved across to the Isle of Man for work and I've been commuting back and forth between Liverpool and the Isle of Man, which has kept me quite busy. I also initially enrolled on a law degree, which I've deferred for a, a year. But most importantly, what's been keeping me busy is my book, Dr. Magnesium, um, not your usual doctor, which is a book about my life. It's about my journey through medicine, how I started off in medicine, but it explores the psychological effects of a career in medicine on the doctor using my story as a, as a case. It's, it's an interesting book. It's available now on Amazon. You can get that all delivered all over the world, no matter where you are. Um, and I can highly recommend it because it's about me, obviously. <laughs> but no, I think it is quite an interesting read. It gives it a, a unique insight. I'm not your usual doctor, as the title suggests. I've come from a different background. I look at things slightly different. I have a different approach to medicine. I often use more natural uh, treatments. And I think it's, I think it'd be interesting for, for you to, to have a look through. It gives a, an outsider's perspective. It opens up the often closed world of medicine. So yeah, as I say, that's available on Amazon at the moment, Amazon Books. Um, it's available on Kindle or as a paperback. So that's enough free plugging for me book. So I'd just like to explain what's been going on over the last month. So as I say, I've been back and forth to the UK, uh, commuting back and forth between the Isle of Man and Liverpool. I've been continuing in my job as an acute medical consultant and I have continued to avoid those processed foods. I've continued to not drink alcohol. I haven't had alcohol for nine months now. I'm still feeling good. I've still kept the weight off and maintained a steady weight of about 12 and a half stone, which is probably about normal for my height of five foot seven. So yeah, it's all going well. Um, I'd just like to mention a message that I had on YouTube. As I say, I've been neglecting the channel a little bit lately and I haven't been checking in as much as I should do and that's gonna change. I'm gonna get back into it now. Now things have settled down after my book's out. So I had a, I opened up on Friday and I had a message from a lady who'd had a, a, a bad experience. She'd had a, a, a spider bite on her leg, which had caused an ulcer. I think she got the leg infected and that spread and she ended up with seven ulcers on the leg. There was non-healing ulcers, they just seemed to be getting worse. She was getting them dressed every day by the district nurses and nothing seemed to be helping. So this lady watched one of my videos back in January. I think it could have been an interview that I had done with Chris Thrall. And then she went on to, to look through the channel and look through some of the videos. And she decided that she was gonna have a trial off UPFs, completely avoiding UPFs. She did that. And as a result, her leg ulcers have completely cleared up. She's found that there's complete resolution to the leg ulcers. Um, she's also lost three stone, which is coming from her herself. I, I don't know this person, this is just a test to me, a comment that was made on one of my videos. But it got me thinking about, about those processed foods and about the, the, the journey that I've been on myself. And I think, Ultra processed foods, as we've said, the, the toxins, they, they're often toxic to the body, which can delay healing. They can, they can delay the healing process. They can occupy your immune system by causing inflammation throughout the body. If your body's got inflammation, secondary to a reaction to a toxin, the body will send the white cells there and it'll occupy the defense system. If the body's defense system is occupied by a chronic inflammation, secondary to exposure to these foods, then opportunistic infections, such as this lady was having with the, the open wound, um, was allowing a break in the barrier of the skin, which normally protects against inf infection. But this was allowing entry for bacteria to get in, to, to multiply within the skin. And because the body was occupied with another chronic inflammation, inflammatory process, it wasn't able to send the resources that were required to fight this infection. And that got me thinking a lot about um, infections and, and, the, and the, the causes of, of illness in people who do have a diet high in those processed foods. And I think this is definitely something that, that we see through, throughout the winter 
the winter months, especially when we had the COVID pandemic over the last few years where people were obsessed with mask wearing and vaccinations and uh, this social distancing, we closed the economies of the world down. And I think if we'd have concentrated on health at that time rather than pathology, we could have dealt with the with the whole situation a lot differently. We wouldn't be in the mess that we're in now um, in terms of patient numbers and social beds being taken up, unable to discharge elderly patients from hospital. We wouldn't have had the cancer presentations that we're having because of the delayed treatments, um, the missed um, routine checkups and the missed two week checkups that we have in the UK. So I think for me, the, the way to go throughout the cover pandemic, as I said all along, anybody who knew me at that time or was following me on uh, Facebook, etc. My whole philosophy was to get healthy, to focus on health, weight loss, good diet, cutting out ultra processed foods essentially. I, at that time I hadn't really discovered what ultra processed foods were, but I was I was a big advocate for eating healthy, eating fresh foods, eating whole foods, trying to get plenty of vitamins in. And I think now looking back on it, the the reason that would have worked is because of what we've just said with this lady. You've got the chronic inflammatory process, your, your immune system is being taken up fighting this chronic infection or chronic inflammation. And it would have given better resources, resources I should say, to fight an acute infection such as respiratory infections. So that's just something to think about, I think. If we want to be healthy, we want to optimise our health, we want to give ourselves the best chance of remaining healthy, the best way to do that is through eating a natural diet, which is low and processed foods, has lots of natural minerals, natural electrolytes, natural sugars to give the body energy to fight infections. Um, so just a quick video today, I, as I say, I want to get back into this, I want to start making videos again, I want to start building up my channel again, I want to start promoting my book, I've got a few other things coming on the horizon as well, um, which will hopefully have got a second book in the pipeline, which is about ultra processed foods. So there's plenty coming up. I'm, I'm going to keep everybody informed on what's going on. And as I say, second shameless plug for your book, Dr. Magnesium, which is available on Amazon, in paperback and via Kindle. So thank you again. I'll get my guy who edits the videos for me, Prometheus Beard, to put a link for my Amazon um, page into the into the comment section on this as well so that we can access that easily. So I would like to say thank you for watching. I'm sorry it's been so long for me to get back. I've just been absolutely chaotic in, in life at the moment. So we're going to get back going on it. We're going to spread the message, spread the word, get the world healthier, one person at a time, one view at a time. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you all again soon. Thank you and bye.